right, ready for another game of bolt action of the 2019 Fall Saskatoon Bolt Action League Tournament. Uh, today's game is Lucan and his Marine Armies, uh, fresh off a victory against Andy's Hungarians. And it's John and his Germans, uh, after uh, defeating the... Who did I play last? <laughs> Mikkel and the Finns. All right, so we uh, the table that we rolled for... I guess we didn't roll for, but was allotted to us, is an open field on the grass mat with minimal cover, no river. So this is what we ended up with, set up by Colin. And it's interesting. He put a big giant hill in the middle, which you can see. And Lucan, off camera, rolled for the scenario. And he rolled a three, which is special because when you look it up, it means there is one central objective. So we are playing a battle for the hill this is going to be intense all right well let's go over the armies so lucan's marine force is over here lucan what do you got uh, the same as the last video I explained it <laughs> all okay, right so veteran 76 sherman regular m12 uh the m12 airborne, is the heavy howitzer for people um airborne armored jeep so it's a veteran jeep uh veteran flamethrowers regular bazooka I think it's veteran sniper, uh, inexperienced or no, sorry, regular second lieutenant, inexperienced second lieutenant, uh, regular squad with three BARs, uh, regular squad with three BARs. Two of them have pistols. These guys here. Um, this is a veteran Marine Raider squad, three BARs, uh, and four SMGs, and this is a veteran Raider squad with three BARs and four rifles but they're all tough fighting all right very formidable all right let's go through the german force all right okay so we have a regular truck with the uh, mmg a regular Werbel wind a regular armored car with the heavy anti-tank gun armor seven open top with a forward facing mmg a veteran kibble wagon a veteran schwim wagon we have a inexperienced Nibble Warfare. We have a regular mor heavy mortar team with Spotter. There is a regular Schertzen squad with two MMGs, or LMGs, sorry. We have a eight-man regular Panzer Grenadier squad, two Panzerfoss, four assault rifles. We have a second seven-man Panzer Grenadier squad regular, four assault rifles, two Panzerfaust. Then there is a five-man Brandenburger squad, Four submachine guns, one rifle, two Panzerfoss. Then we have a regular second lieutenant with Buddy, two assault rifles, a regular flamethrower team, a regular Panzerschreck team. All right, let's uh, see how this goes. All right, so we've rolled for sides and we've rolled to see what stays in the reserve. So within Lucan's army, he has opted to leave his tank in reserve and his bazooka squad in reserve. He has forward deployed a sniper right in these trees, which watches out over the objective. He has chosen this side and he has placed the objective right there because it can be anywhere on the center line, but can be up to 12 inches from the very table edge. So it's no longer a battle of the hill, but the battle of the side of the hill in the open. 12 inches from the actual center line. Yes. And for my force, I have this side. I rolled a higher dice number, so I had to choose first. I have forward deployed a spotter in the top of this building. Um, and I have opted to leave my Panzer Shrek, flamethrower, two cars, armored car, and the Brandenburgers in reserve. All right, we'll put the dice in and we'll start this game off. Uh, first wave. Order dice of the game goes to Germany. And the armored car has gone down. Next order dice is? Germany. Ooh, all right. Let's see what I decide. Second order dice, Germany's heavy mortar gets deployed behind the field overlooking. All right, or behind the hill. Next dice. Dice, shirts and squad has run up behind these trees overlooking the objective. Next dice. To clarify how the objective works in this scenario, the pin can only score you points on turn three and higher 
and you must control the pin for that turn to collect the points. The amount of points you get is equal to the turn number. So if you hold that objective on turn three, you get three points. But if you control it on turn six, you get six points. And in order to control the objective, you must have an uh, artillery or infantry unit that has at least three men in it. So no small teams uh, to take that point. All right. And Lucan has moved. What did you move? An inexperienced. inexperienced lieutenant has run behind the trees. Truly could be a critical move. Nice. Right, so Lucan has run his regular force up towards the center of the board. Next dice. Right. Lucan has moved Chesty Puller, his inexperienced second lieutenant, up behind the trees. No, That's, no, he's regular. He's the regular. The other one is inexperienced. All right. All right. Next dice. Lucan has daisy-chained a veteran squad up towards the middle of the board. All right. Lucan has run his flamethrower squad over here. All right. Lucan has run up his armored jeep with the heavy machine gun up towards the middle of the board. Next order dice. Right. Lucan has brought out his second veteran squad, and he's run him up behind the sniper and the lieutenant. Getting a lot of stuff on the board now. But a few order dice, everything else is, we've had a lot of units go down. The Brandenburgers have gone into outflank. But second lieutenant now has run up behind these trees. Uh, no. And the sniper got placed into ambush. All right. All right. Panzer Grenadiers have run up towards the center of the board. Next dice. Right. Lucan has brought his heavy howitzer tank out. Run it out in the corner. Advance. A nice clear line of sight looking down that side of the board. All right, next dice. All right, Lucan has run up his final infantry squad up behind the building over here. That's regulars. All right, he's pretty well deployed across the board. All right, final three last order dice are mine. I'll deploy out and I'll come back to you. All the order dice have been deployed. My dice, I have ran a truck loaded up towards the center of the board. Nebelwerfer deployed out well, looking over the objective. Werbelwind has run up towards the center of the board. All right, let's see how turn two goes. No deaths, turn one yet. First order dice, turn two goes to Lucan. And he has run his veteran squad just up behind these here bushes, right in the center of the board. All right, next dice. Order dice goes to Germany. Firing the Nebelwerfer out at the sniper in them woods across the way. So, within range of that is the sniper, the lieutenant, and this veteran squad in the back. I can't imagine that is within six inches of this other squad, so looking at rolling for three units. All right, let me roll for the sniper first. Hitting on a six. Can I get it? No. Rolling for the lieutenant. And he is hit with a six. All right, let's place a template. Reviewing the Nebelwerfer, which hit this lieutenant with a three inch template, which encompasses the sniper team as well as one man from this veteran infantry squad. So, rolling for hits. So, there is one hit on the lieutenant, which is plus three penetration. I need you to roll a one. Anything other than a one. I got a four. He's dead. And I don't need to roll for pins for him. I roll two dice for the sniper, you agree? Colin? Yeah. Two dice from the sniper. A one, that one does not count. But there's one death. They're, they're veterans. Yeah, two plus three is five. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, you had the option of going down. All right, on further review, we did not give Lucan enough time to choose to go down when shooting. So we're going to roll a dice on a four, five, or six. Lucan would have went down because in order to make it fair... They did not go down. And I rolled two dice a one prior, a one and a two, which means one is dead and one is not. But, and then I roll for D3 pins on that unit. A six. It takes three pins. Now he must make a morale check. All right. Okay. And I will roll one dice for the infantry squad in the back. A five. So they have one death. 
and then I roll for pins. D3. One pin on the squad in the back with one death. We're rolling for the morale check for the sniper as he's lost one man. Oh, yeah. Seven with three pins. That's exactly what he needed. Nice. No, it's... Sniper's still in it. Veteran oh. three pins. Okay. You're good. All right. I, I still need to roll to see if I also hit wait, wait, the veteran squad in the back. Down. Again, rolling for the Nebelwerfer for shot on this. He chose not to go down. Needing a six. And I get it. No, just kidding. All right. Next order dice. The next order dice is the heavy mortar. Firing at this regular squad in the back. Because the lieutenant can just see them. All right. Lucan, are you going down? What's your range? Uh, it is 72 inches. Three inch template? Three inch template. Going down. Alright, Lucan has decided not to go down. Hitting on the six. Can I make it? Yes, I do not. Also, Next do. order dice. Lucan has advanced up his heavy howitzer to get a shot at the truck. It has advanced and he can't see more than 50%. You can only see the front edge of it. So, get soft cover. He's got one dice hitting on a five. All right, Lucan. Smoke it. It does not. All right. Still survives. Good dice goes to Germany. I have moved my squad out of the truck. I've advanced up. I'm shooting with my assault rifles and rifle at the back of that Jeep. My two Panzerfausts are being launched at the front of the heavy howitzer. Lucan has opted to recce his Jeep. Let's see where he moves it to. So Lucan has advanced, or recce his car far backwards as he can, because he can only back, do a full advance backwards. All right, so we're firing the two Panzerfaust at the car. I'll figure out the math, get back to you. All right, we've done the math. Two Panzerfaust, they're hitting on threes, short range. All right, two dice, one hit, one miss. So one Panzerfaust, which has hit... It has plus six penetration, that is armor eight, correct? Anything but a one. About a four, four plus six is and ten. Two over. Two, two over, over, normal damage. Let's see what it is on the damage chart. A one. Oh. Crew stunned. All right, so he takes two pins. All right, but he's still in the fight. All right, rifles and assault rifles firing at the Jeep. What is that range, Colin, if you want to measure it? What's up? Because it's armored front. No. It's open top. All right. What is the range there? Long range on the assault rifles, meaning I'm hitting on fours. All right. Let's go back to you on the roll. Hold the assault oh, yeah, rifle. About a four. That takes a pin. And that takes two pins. All right. Running his regular squad up the center of the board. Very spooky. All right. Next up. Order dice. Germany moves into these trees with the shirts and squad. Firing at this regular squad. You can see more than 50% of them. So no cover. I have advanced. We measured the range. It was 13 inches. So my two LMGs get 10 dice. Hitting on fours. Ooh, um, no hits with these four. That leaves six dice. The regular is killing a four, five, or six. Uh, two deaths. Two deaths. Let me roll for the rifles. So that's two rifle shots hitting on five. No hits. Two deaths, one pin. Not too bad. On that squad. They are still quite potent. All right. Germany has run an infantry squad, Panzer Grenadiers, to up here, just behind the bushes. Had to lay down because that's a bit of a steep hill. All right. Next order dice. Lieutenant has run from behind these trees to just behind that same infantry squad. All right. Lucan is firing his inexperienced lieutenant. No. Yeah, yeah. inexperienced lieutenant. At this squad here, what was the range? Oh, I can measure it again, but I think it's 10 or something. Nine. Long range, inexperienced. Two dice. Hitting on fives. Fives? Fives and sixes. Yeah. For inexperienced? Yeah. No. Nothing. 
Uh, Attempting to rally the sniper with three pins. Needing a ten. And he roll one dice. One dice there looking. I removed all of the pins. All right. I have advanced my truck from behind this grenadier squad and moved them up in front. And I'm firing the MMG directly at that squad over there. It's long range and I advance, hitting on five, six dice. Let's see how it goes. All right, three hits. Killing on four, five, or six. One kill. One death on that squad, two pins. All right, next order dice. All right, looking, attempting to run his veteran squad from behind the trees, needing a nine. One pin, they're veteran. And they do what they're supposed to do, ditch the pin. And they run somewhere, I'll get back to you. Because All right, they, he has daisy chained his squad out this way. It's less dangerous. Yeah, looking out over towards the truck with the men. Germany attempting to roll to bring the Kiebelwagen out. It is veteran, so needing a nine. Does it come out? It does come out. Let's see where it goes. All right, the cars drove up along here and drove up in front of these men and parked along the bush with a run. Next dice. In running this regular squad from behind the building, or just behind this building. Very interesting. Rolling to see if the other car comes out, the swim wagon. Uh, it's also veteran, needing a nine. Can I get it? I get it. Let's see where it goes. Car has r run across the board to behind these trees. All right. Next order dice. And attempting to bring out his bazooka squad. They are regular, needing an eight because of the brand burgers to come out. Eight, they got it. Vegas. Where is he taking them? And has advanced the bazooka squad up, firing nice broadside of the truck. We measured the range. It is 11 inches, so not long range, but he advanced, needing a four. Can he get it? He does oh. not. The truck still survives. This and goes into ambush. A little early yet for it to be driving around. All right, next order dice. Put the armored car down. Last two order dice of turn two go to Luke in. Let's see what he does. And attempting to take the Sherman out onto the board. Needing a nine because of the Brandenburgers. Can they come out? Yes. It cool. definitely comes out. Let's see where it goes. Has advanced the Sherman up the edge of the board here. Right there, firing at that werble wind in the background. Very spooky. Firing the whole mount to machine gun and an HE template. Machine gun within range? It is. Wow. Just within range. Long range and move and shoot. And a normal range for my gun. And yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. Guns first. The machine guns? Hitting on fives. Advanced long range? Yep. Five shots hitting on five for the machine gun. Let's see what he does. I got uh, one. one hit. They take a pin. Killing on threes. Roll on their dice. The pin's not going to count. It's with HE. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Roll one dice. Hitting on a three for the big gun. Well, He's a veteran, so he has no move and shoot penalty. I better penalties. use this one. It was good at rolling threes. There you go. All right. <laughs> he rolls a one. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Lucan, you should go back to rolling school. <laughs> no order dice. Runs. It's flamethrowers. Up towards the middle of the board. All right. To recap turn two. Not too much death. A lot of moving. The mist with everything but put one pin with the machine gun on Nebelwerfer. The... The heavy howitzer took a direct hit with two with one Panzerfaust, but only got crew stunned, two pins. Uh, Wreckied the Jeep, it took one pin though. Um, the regular squad here had four deaths being shot at by the truck and that infantry squad. Three deaths. Three deaths. Okay. John's currently winning by one. All right. Let's see how turn three goes. Right. Lucan got the first order dice, firing his tank with everything he's got. Am I. Nebelwerfer, I chose to go town. 
Are you? What are you firing? I guess. Yeah, I guess you should have announced that prior. I suppose. Uh, roll your whole mounted MMG. It'll be hitting on. It would be fours normally now for long range, but down makes it sixes. Oh, that would have been really good. No machine gun hits. And I assume you're firing the HE. Nothing. Never if you're still in it. This squad behind the truck is assaulting the heavy howitzer. It's open top. It has not advanced. Be hitting on four fives and sixes with seven dice. All right, roll seven dice. Um, hit, hit. So that is five hits, and then I roll one dice. Hold on, do, do they have tank hunter? One dice, I add five to this roll, a six. Six plus five, massive damage. Let's go back to the chart for that one. Because I pen beat the armor, it's open top, and it's automatically dead. Now I roll one d6 for the amount of inches I can move away, or consolidate away. I can consolidate four inches. I'll measure that out. Right. Consolidate it around. All right. Next order dice. Here it is. The destruction. Okay. Next dice. Germany firing at that regular squad in the back. Right there. They are opting to go down. We'll measure the range and figure out the math. That works out to be fives to hit on the two MMGs, sixes to hit on the rifle. So ten dice hitting on five. Here's for the two LMGs. Ooh, two hits. No, three hits. Three hits. Take another pin. Killing on four, five, or six. Three deaths. Wow. Let's roll this one. Is it exceptional? It is exceptional. All right. Um, I will kill your NCO. NCO plus two. They take an extra pin. They must take a morale check with three pins and no NCO. So that's a negative four penalty on regulars needing a five. They pass. Still in the fight. One man. All right. Next order dice. We forgot about two rifle shots hitting on sixes. Ooh, one hit. No death. So, no change. All right, next order, guys. Firing through the spotter at the flamethrower. Is he going down looking? Um, he's hitting on a six. Okay, one dice hitting on a six. No, it does not hit. It's another dice. Truck is firing at that squad in the open right there. The veteran squad. It would be hitting on fours for long range, it's 31 inches, except for they went down, it's now hitting on sixes. Six shots, hitting on six. Can I get it? One six, they take a pin. And it's a four, no death, they take a pin. Firing at my Nebelwerfer, no pin, so he automatically makes the test. He is... We should measure the range to make sure he's within range. He's down a buddy, so he'll be if he's in range, he'll be needing a four to hit. Because he ignores down. He so let's check the range. The oh yeah, I guess so. Well within range. Alright, four to hit. Well, that's oh, that been a six. Does not hit. Next order dice. Rubble in, just going into ambush. Hanging back. Next dice. Running his regular squad from over here to up beside the trees. Outside the line of sight of my Werblewind in ambush. Next order dice. My car has advanced from in front of there to right there. Right in the middle of the board. Next dice. Hop the flamethrower out of the car, which has gone into the bushes, and is firing point blank at this squad. They've moved, so it'll be but point blank hitting on a three. One dice. Can I do it? Kind of better run out and then run out of fuel. Or miss and run out of fuel. 
three, I hit. So I cause d6 hits, six. That's six hits, plus three penetration. Um, no. Those two do not kill. Four deaths. Let me roll for pins. It's D3 plus one pins. Four. So that's three pins. Because the plus one. Do I run out of fuel? Needing a one. I do not run out of fuel. They need a morale check with three pins. Okay. Three pins on a regular. They pass. Very much alive. Still in this fight. All right, next dice. Bring his flamethrowers to just behind his veteran squad. Right in the middle. A lot of dudes there. Next order dice. Attempting to move his armored jeep from the corner. It has one pin, I believe. Yep. So one it's pin. A, it's, it's a regular. Because his lieutenant's right there. It's a ten. It's not a veteran. a veteran. Yes, he is. The jeep's a veteran. Airborne armored jeep. Oh, veteran. okay. Well, that's a ten then. And he passes. Let's see where he goes. Just going into ambush. Just into ambush? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Alrighty. My German lieutenant from back behind here to just in front. Just behind the bushes. Not in them though. Next order dice. Putting his veteran squad in the back into ambush. Alright. Next order die. Wreck has come out of the car, has advanced around the corner, and is firing at the front of that tank, hitting on a five. It is long range, and I advanced. One dice. Hold on. Okay. Before I fire at the front of that tank, Lucan can just make out the base of one of my units with this bazooka. So he's firing out of ambush at this unit, but he'll be hitting on a six because of long range, small team, and... Long range, small team. Soft. Oh, it's soft cover. That's correct. One dice hit on a six. Oh. That's a one. I, mean, I yeah. thought it was like the. <laughs> All right. I'm also able to make out the man with one BAR, triggering okay, so his let me, ambush. Let me take a look again. But I'm, 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 sure, sure. I'm sure. All right. Yeah, All right. Two dice hitting on fives. They're about 28 inches away. Ooh, Ooh, one yeah. hit. Reroll. Killing on four, five, or six. Nothing. Take a pin though, which will affect my shooting, meaning I only need a six to hit now. Or it has to be a six. Let me roll. Do I get a six? No. All right. Next order today. Attempting to bring out the armored car, needing an eight to bring it out. Do I get it? I get it. That is a six. Let's see where it goes. Armored cars come out and drove into the middle of the board. It is firing its heavy anti-tank gun at the Sherman over there. It is advanced, but I measured its normal range. It'll be hitting on a four. It has a front-mounted machine gun as well, which will be firing six shots, firing at the, sm the one single man over there. It'll be a, should be six on sixes, down, small team, advance. For that, a roll the MMG shots first. Six dice, hitting six on six. No sixes. All right, I'm gonna fire the heavy anti-tank gun. I'm needing a four to hit. No, I miss. All right. Boo, all right, oh, next dice. Oh, thought... Car has ran from behind the trees to back behind in the back corner. Lucan firing or assaulting with his lieutenant on the car. Oh, I'm just running. Just running. Touching it. It. Oh, he's just touching it. All right, he should claim that objective being closer than me. All right. Next day. To turn three, last dice, I've ran my infantry squad from behind the Nebelwerfer to onto the pin. I now control it for the end of the turn three. That's three points for me. So far, we have had the heavy howitzers die to assault. Lucan is touching this vehicle. I am not closer to it. So my truck, being an empty transport, is going to run away. You'll claim that order dice. Um, the Panzer Shrek took a pin from one man firing a BAR. It fired a miss at the bazooka. Flamethrower hit. Took out four men, I believe. This squad has been whittled down to one man. 
and the flamethrower is here and this veteran squad they are looking to do some killing Lucan, are you leaving any of these units in ambush? No, but I am going to shoot at your men. He's going to attempt to roll to see if any of these things do stuff. All right, what are you rolling with with that? Well, it's just, this is all that's in ambush. Right? Okay, and you're trying to fire at these? Yeah, so they get... Okay. So on four, five, or six, they take their shot. Roll one dice. They take their shot. I believe I get... Do I get hardcover? I think I might. Definitely. Hard cover, um, normal range, so that's further than six. So that's three shots hitting on Five. fives. Yeah. Ooh, Maybe. nice shooting. Two hits. Two. Roll those. Killing on those are regulars. So so killing on three. Yeah, killing on threes. Two dice. Two okay. deaths. Two deaths and a pin. I'll take it. I still don't have to take morale check, though, I believe. Let's check. Deaths caused by that machine gun shot. Going on to turn four. Let's see how it goes. Order dice of the game goes to Lucan's lone inexperienced lieutenant, who is in a brave move, is attempting to assault my squad of five Panzer Grenadiers. He does not need to make a morale check. He rolls, he is tough fighter, I believe. So roll one dice, playing four, five, or six. We got one death. Reroll. Tough fighter. Ooh, two deaths. That, that was exceptional damage. Is there exceptional in? In close quarters. Yes. Okay, reroll. Oh, then roll another one then. That was the exceptional roll. No, no. no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then roll one for the exceptional. Okay. Okay, not exceptional. Two men die. I retaliate with three men, both of which are tough fighter, killing on threes. He's very much dead. Yeah. <laughs> but I believe I may have to take a morale check. There's a lot of sixes. Left. Two's death. That leaves three men left alive. Morale check. One pin. They are regular. Needing an eight to pass. Um, they pass. They pass, but just exactly what they needed. Still alive. We don't get another one from... Second order dice. Goes to Germany. Attempting to pass my orders test to fire at the front of that Sherman. They are regular with one pin. Needing an eight or less. Ooh, they pass. Ditch the pin. Now, I will be hitting on a four, just because of long range. Do I get it? I do not. That is a miss. Next dice. Advancing his jeep up, firing at me point blank. I've opted to go down with my three men. He'll be hitting three dice, hitting on fives. One hit. They take a pin. Killing on threes. Nope, no death. Take an extra pin. All right, next dice. Lucan attempting to move his squad of three regulars left. They have three pins. Six or less. Six or less. Oh, hey roll at one d6. <laughs> wow. Serious? Yep, he needed that. Two pins. He still are left with a pin. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what are they doing? Opted to assault the two flamethrowers in the woods. So it they're within six inches. I do not get to retaliate or fire first, but I'm defending an object. So I get to retaliate with two dice. He'll be rolling. He's rolling for three men, but two men are tough fighters. These are the tough fighter rolls. Killing a four, five, or six. Ooh, auto dead. Okay, let me roll my two dice to retaliate. They're regulars as well. I kill one. One death, but I lose my flamethrower. Well, that sucks. You can also regroup uh, these six inches away. All right. You you can yeah. remain in the, the... One to consolidate. Moves just on the other side of the bushes. There we go. Flamethrower team dead. And claims a dice. Running his veteran squad out towards the middle of the table. Getting within the... Or getting close to being running in distance from the objective. We'll see how this goes. All right. Next order dice. All right, Nebelwerfer now. Germany got the next dice. Attempting to fire one pin, but they're inexperienced. So I will be needing a seven to pass. Can I pass? Probably not. No, a 10. They're very much down. Boo. All right. 
Next dice. Has moved from behind the building, has advanced to the side, is firing point blank with their two assault rifles at the lone man. So he went down, which makes it four, but he's also a small team, which makes it five. Four dice hitting on five. Incredible small team. Yeah, No hits. All right. Next order dice. The flamethrower squad from behind this squad up to behind the trees, advancing into the center of the board. Next order dice. Get that one. As advanced as Bazooka as far as he can from over there to try and line up a shot against the armored car. All right. I don't know where they were. I just want to see if you feel the advantage. Oh, I don't even know if they can see past. That would have been a better move, actually. Yeah. Um, so you put in the soft cover and then we'd measure from the edge up to... Questionable if they can see or not. We'll come I back to you with a conclusion. I didn't think of that. <laughs> gotcha. Alright. I, I don't even think that would have been close enough. But, okay. my car is way too far away for its 24 inch range. So, no shot. Next dice. Car is moved from over here to back here. Just to try and save the dice. Next dice. Is now firing through... Observing the sp spotter at the veteran squad. Right there. Be needing a six to hit. Can I get lucky? Probably not. Let's find out. No. Extremely unlucky. Next order dice. The attempting, to bring out, oh, attempting to bring out the Brandenburgers. They do not suffer penalty for outflank. Needing a ten. Oh, an eleven. They go down. <laughs> All right. No luck. Has... Triggered his tank, which has fired at my armored car, which was right here, but it has wreckied behind the building. Um, and this squad has opted to go down because he's firing his whole mounted, his whole mounted MMG is firing, which is five dice. They are down, so he'd be hitting on fives. Five dice hitting on five. And he hits. One hit. They take a pin. Killing on four, five, or six. No death. Take a pin. All right. His now lone sniper at my lieutenant. Needing a four to hit. He's just outside of 12 inches, so he can make it. Legit shot. No hit. They survive. All right, next dice. Lucan's last high uh, order dice, turn four, attempting to move his veteran squad. They have one pin, I believe. Yes, so needing a nine to pass. Can he do it? No, they go down. With a 10. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. And the last three dice are mine. I'll report back what I do. So at the end of turn four, my last two dice, I've backed up my Warble Wind to try and get a distance myself from his flamethrower behind these trees. I've ran this squad out of these trees, trying to get closer to the objective. I again hold the objective for another turn, giving me an additional four points because it's turn four. Uh, we have not had as much death this turn. What has died, Lucan? Uh, my flamethrower died due to these men assaulting. What else, Lucan? Well, that's it. Uh, I don't know what you took in for me. You took, I killed you several did, of these men. You took this guy. When oh, he and died. I killed a lieutenant over here who had assaulted me. Going into turn five. A lot could happen. Nice. Turn five goes to Germany. Panzer Shrek is firing at the tank once again. Needing a four to hit due to long range. Can I get it? Four to hit. And a one. It will never hit. All right, next dice. Dice goes to Germany. The mortar firing through the spotter again at that veteran squad. This time, second time in a row, hitting on a five. Lucan, are you going down? Nope. Staying up, hitting on a five. Five. I have hit. Let's figure out. How many I can get? Four within the three inch template. So rolling four dice, the plus three penetration. Ooh, no hit there. Three deaths. And I roll for pins, D3 pins, with three pins. Do they have to take a morale check? Uh, yes. Morale check, three pins. On veteran, needing a seven to pass. 
eight. They have fled the field. I claim an order dice. All right. Mortar does damage finally. Upon further review, realized that they are marauders, so they're actually stubborn. So they always pass on a 10, or they always have a 10, regardless of pin. So they have three pins, three men left, and he rolled an eight, so they're still alive, back in the fight. Advanced his Jeep up, firing at these men. With the Jeep, I've opted to go down. He'll be hitting on sixes with three HMG shots. All right, three dice, hitting on sixes. No <laughs> hits. Three ones. Wow. <laughs> really? Wow. All right. Okay, next order dice. Next order dice goes to Germany. Nebor for attempting to fire at the tank, but I have one pin. They are inexperienced, so unlikely to pass. Needing a seven. Can I do it? No, a 10. They do definitely do not. Down. Okay, next dice. Tenants have advanced from right here into the bushes and they're firing at the sniper. Uh, we'll have to measure, but I assume that is not long range and they are a small team. So I would be hitting on fours with four dice. I'll uh, measure the range and get back to you. Direction, they are flamethrower. I don't know why I said sniper, but anyway, it is normal range. So four shots. Hitting on four. Is that what you did last round? Yeah. Although, John did declare you shooting at your sniper, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, two hits. So they're dead. Oh, no. Hits. Two hits, they take a pin, and killing it on fives and sixes as their veteran. Ooh, one death. Let me re-roll to see if it's exceptional. It's not exceptional. One death and a pin, they're going to have to take a morale check. Needing a nine to pass. Can he make it? Easily. All right, next dice. Again, attempting to fire both machine guns off his tank into this squad that is down on the objective. So that'll be 10 dice. You will be hitting on fives. Ooh. So let's see if he can do it. Is it lo not long range? Okay, 10 dice, hitting on fives. Uh, oh, we got wow. two hits. Unreal. Where are you going? Look, come, come look at this. Yeah, that is a, a ton of twos, ones, and threes. Uh, that's my counter right. rolling. All right. Game. All right, so they take a pin. Another pin. All right. All right. Killing on four, fives, and sixes. One death. All right. They survive the maelstrom. Attempting to move... The Marauder squad of three men. They're a veteran, but they have three pins, needing a seven to pass. They go down. All right, next dice. Lucan attempting to move his flamethrower with one pin, veteran, needing a nine to pass. Can you do it? They pass. What are you going to do, Lucan? Uh, moving and shoot it at you. Moving and flamethrower. We'll get back to you with the odds and the range and how it works out. Lucan rolled off camera, got a three with his flamethrower to hit. Needed a five because the because of moving. They're a small team, they only ignore cover. And I'm down, but, and he's missing a loader, needing a five to hit. So no hit, roll for fuel. Just has plenty of fuel. Next dice. Needing to move his lone regular man. Three pins on him though. Needing a something to pass. Six to pass. All right. Starts off nine. Three pins, six shots. Yep. And he passes. Where is he going? What's he up to? All right, he's firing at this down squad. It'll be sixes on six. Oh. I think I'm going to move so that I can be closer. Okay. Correction. He is moving closer. All right. Let's see how it goes. That is a BAR, so needing two shots, or two shots hitting on six because of the pins. All right, no hits. Next dice. Attempting to move this regular Panzer Grenadier squad of only three men left, but they have two pins in front of the vehicle. Need to pass the morale che or orders check. Needing a seven to pass. They pass. All right, I'll get back to you with, with what they do. Next up, towards his bazooka, firing at them. I'll be needing a six to hit, because he's chose to go down and 
I have one pin and no move and shoot penalty because it's assault rifles. So that's six shots hitting on sixes. Can I get lucky? One hit. They take a pin, killing on a four, five, and six. They're regular. There's a death. Let's see if it's exceptional. It's not. One death. They have to take a morale check with one pin. Needing an eight to pass. Yes. They pass. You are good at your morale checks. Okay, next dice. To bring out the burgers. The Brandon burgers. Needing a ten, as they do not have an outflank penalty, and they are veteran. They come out. All right, let's see where. Move the Brandenburger squad into the back corner. There are these five men right there. They're firing two Panzer Foss at the side of the tank. It's long range and they've moved, so it's hitting on fives. The three submachine guns that are remaining are firing at the bazooka, which will be hitting on fives as well. So let's roll the two Panzer Foss hits. Can I get fluky and get a five and a six? No, no hits. All right. What about killing the bazooka? So, hitting on fives. One hit. One hit. Is there six in that gun? No. And, oh, a death. It is dead. All right. Just like that, bazooka gone. Next dice. So, having moved out, Firing at the Sherman with the heavy anti-tank gun. Hitting on a four. Can I make that? I failed this a few times with the Panzer Shrek. Will the car have any more luck? It will not have any more luck. And I'm firing the MMG at the car, but I'm hitting the front. So all I can do is put one pin on it because it's got armor on the front. Yeah, that's a hit. So it takes a pin. All right. Next dice. Firing the sniper from inside these woods at this bazooka. Needing a four to hit because he's down to one man. Finally. He hits. Killing on a four, five, or six. No. No death, but I take a pin. All right. Spooky. Attempting to move the regular two men squad in the middle there. They have one pin. Needing an eight to pass. Yep. They pass. Let's figure out where they go. All right. Has moved up, he's firing at the lieutenant squad in the bush, needing fives to hit with one BAR and one rifle. So three dice hitting on fives. One hit. Roll again, killing on four, five, or six. No death. They take a pin though. Yeah. Advance my shirts and squad up from where they were, as far as they can. And they're firing at that lone regular man over there. He is small team and he is and I've advanced, so hitting on fives. That's two LMGs for 10 dice, and then two rifles. All right, always fun to roll and hold the camera at the same time. On fives. There's a few hits, but not that many. Two, actually. They take a pin, and do any die. Four, five, or six. It's dead. He is perished. All right, claim another dice. And firing at those two men up on top of the hill. All right, so six shots from the whole mounted MMG, and then the eight light auto cannon shots. So hitting on fours. Let's roll the H or the MMG shots. One hit, killing on four, five, or six. Six. One death. Is it exceptional? It's not. One death there. Let's roll the four HE shots, or the eight HE shots, sorry. Also hitting on fours. One, two hits. They'll both catch the one man, I'm sure. So, two. With plus one, yeah, he's dead. That squad, take another dice. All right, next turn. And attempting to move the veteran squad from the middle. He has got one pin, needing a nine to move them. Can he do it? He does it. 
Where are they going? Let's find out. Glad moved towards the middle. Getting ready. So that is the end of turn five. All right. Not too much death this turn, but a few things. Uh, I again hold the central objective, which now gives me an additional five points in turn five. Um, yeah. I have currently six order dice of Lucan's. Lucan has two of mine. Each of those is worth an additional point. All right, going on to turn six. Let's see what happens. Let's order dice at turn six goes to Germany. I've advanced the Schertzen squad from right there to right there, and I'm firing point blank at the Marine Raider Force, I believe, and um, hitting on threes, because point blank, but I have a move and shoot penalty. All right, he's decided to stay up. So that, again, is 12 dice of shots because of the two LMGs. There's one there. Okay, you just pull mine first. <laughs> I pulled all right. All right. Okay, everything but two. Killing on fives and sixes. That is five deaths. There's three sixes. Let's re-roll those for exceptional. One exceptional. Okay. So five are dead, and I'll take out the NCO. All right. How many does that leave with? I assume you'll have to take a morale check. All right. All right, I'll get back to you with the morale check. Oh, it's we're going to take it. It's always a 10. I got it. He gets it. They are still in the fight with two men. All right, so after that, that squad has been moved down to two men, and you require three to hold the objective. We've done the math. There's there's no way Lucan can now win, even with a turn seven controlling that objective. So, good game, Lucan. Oh, that was a terrible game. <laughs> All right. So, moving, Germany moves on in the tournament. Luke, the final score? Uh, the final score is I held this for 5, 4, 3. 18 to 2. 18 to 2 is the final score. And you add up all the dice and those. So, well, well played. It was a good game. All right.